want to thank people for following you. Just if you can, you don't have to sweat it if you don't. But it's nice to say, hey, thanks for following me. And you and anyone that's retweeted you from the the Monday just before that Friday, it's just common courtesy to pound FF and all of those people. And it might take you two or three tweets, depending on how many people's retweeted you. And that's just common courtesy. And, and, and again, it keeps that chain going. They're more inclined to continue tweeting you. It's going to get other people following you, so on and so forth. It has, it has a ripple effect. Characters permitting, add TCOT, uh, top conservatives on Twitter, within your tweets, which is used by TCOT, retweets at random various conservative messages. Now, this is, this is a factual statement here, numbers. For the 10 days period covering February 1 to February 10, the top hashtag counting total number of 140 character Twitter updates or tweets using that hashtag was TCOT with 16,500 tweets. What it does is they go in, they look for the, for cert, just, it, 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 there's no rhyme or reason. They just at random go in, if this is in your tweet, they're likely to retweet you. Next page, honey, I'll show you what I mean. So the top conservatives of Twitter, if you put that in your, ha that hashtag in your Twitter, at some point you're going to find that that outfit might come in and retweet something that you've tweeted. And this is an example of that. TCOT retweets individual conservatives just at random. I, and I don't know how they pick which tweets. All I know is that it's tweets that had TCOT in it. Next slide, please. Speaking of Facebook actions, since I just mentioned something about them, scanning for messages and actions allows me to, uh, so allow me to elaborate on that. Tweeting while good is only one aspect of social media for grassroots activism. Facebook can be a very useful networking tool as well. Just as you build followers in Twitter, so too can you make Facebook a launch pad for disseminating information. Like me, there are other individuals who are conservative info pushers. That's just what we do. That's the campaigns love us. That's what we do. We, we push conservative information in mass as much as we can. Campaigns rely heavily on us because we are of benefit to the campaign. We cost them nothing. We do it for love of, of our candidate and our country. Next slide. So, for instance, my buddy, does anybody, is everybody familiar with Voices in Power? Okay, Alice Linehan, my buddy Alice and I, she, we were the first two Santorum state leaders here in Texas. So her and I, we, we work a lot together. So you will see, she will come on Facebook quite often. She's big on Facebook, whereas I'm more big on Twitter. And she will please, please share, and uh, far and wide, 20 shares requested this information. So what she's saying to her network is I need you to share this on all, on every single thing you, that you have at your disposal. So you can see here, Alice responded one, two, and three. I came in and responded four, five, six, and then forgot and did seven. What that means is that I shared it on a couple of Facebook pages and all three of my Twitter accounts. So that's letting her know that of the 20 shares that she's requesting, I've knocked out five of them. And you know, some people don't do that, they'll just put shared. But that's just kind of, that's kind of what a Facebook action is. And it can be very, very useful to the campaigns. They'll, they'll send, they'll, you'll get an email from them, they'll say share this information with your networks. You'll put it as an action on Facebook, asking your network to share it with their networks. Again, it just, it multiplies. I, I told y'all at the beginning we're winning the war. I promise you, we are. We're winning the war in social media, and it's because we conservatives finally figured out what happened to us in 08, and we ain't going to let it happen again. We've taken it. We own this narrative, and it's because the campaigns know. They know there's motivated individuals in the Tea Party, 912, Liberty Activist, Grassroots Activist. They'll send you. You're, you're going to get slammed with emails. They're going to want money. Fine. There's going to be information in that email that you can tweet. Guarantee it. I opened, I opened reading y'all an editorial that I had written for Ted that I reworded for you guys to pump y'all up, to motivate you, to let you know how important what it is you're doing as White Rock Tea Party Group is.
I, I promise you, it has an effect what you're doing. And I promise you, if you've never spoken to a candidate, I promise you they, they appreciate it. I, I guarantee they do. Words are powerful. I didn't finish college. I'm a year or so shy, and I'm never going to finish. I'm, too, I'm going on 50 now. I ain't going to do it. But I read. I pick up the paper, and I read. I'm a, I'm a, I love history. I find motivation in Federalist Papers, the Constitution. I find, I find motivation in, in old letters that my ancestors wrote. You know, I had an ancestor that was the Attorney General for the Republic of Texas during Sam Houston's second administration, my fourth grade. I read his old letters. I find inspiration in the words from 200 years ago. This is the 200th year of the War of 1812. Here we are again fighting for our country. There's power in your words. Use them. Put them on a web blog. Sign up. You can, you, can post your, you can post what you have to say. And people read it. I promise you they do. You can, you can write something, put it on a blog, and then you can tweet it. You can support a candidate with your words. And you can, this, this WordPress website doesn't cost me a dime. It's free. I just signed up for it. I've got all kinds of stuff on there. Write. If you write, write on behalf of your candidate. They love it. I had Ted on two weeks ago. He, sends me, he sent me a message on Facebook. He said, Michael, I love the editorial that you wrote for me. They, they appreciate it. It means something to them. makes me feel good. I get to vent and rant, and I, God knows I love to do that. If you like to talk, like I like to talk and ham it up, ask Virginia. Virginia was my guest yesterday. This is, this is my, now this is not free. I pay for this. This is my contribution to our cause. I do a Tea Party Talk radio show. Now, I'm not here to promote it. I just want you to be aware this is another form of social media. I do a two-hour weekly radio show every Sunday from 3 to 5. It's called Soldiers of Patriotism. And I spend my Sunday mornings drinking coffee, getting my show prepped and ready, and then having a good show on Sunday afternoons. Virginia was my guest yesterday. And it was a great show. We had great turnout. A lot of people listen. Mark, I believe, listened. This is another form. If you like to talk, if you like to talk and you're interested in doing a Wednesday or Friday night show, get a hold of me. I'll give you two hours. All right? I'll give it to you. Next slide, honey. Smartphone applications. Make sure you have a few of the news apps on your phone, like the Fox, the Wall Street Journal, and even Politico. I know we don't like Politico. I know we hear that and we went, ah. But what did Politico do a couple of weeks ago to Andrea Mitchell? They tore her a new butthole. <laughs> yeah, they did because of that comment that she made about Mitt Romney. And Politico came after her. They devoured one of their own. That's the kind of stuff we want to tweet. That's the kind of stuff. That's the good stuff. That's the fun stuff. <laughs> Now, there's a few rules we have to remember, folks, in all seriousness. <clears throat> I'm, I, I'm a big-hearted guy, I, I, but I, I, I'll tell it like it is. I don't care if someone follows me or not. I don't care if you like what I have to say or not, but I'm going to try to be polite about it. Sometimes I get my ire up, but I try not to. And you were speaking. I heard you speaking at the beginning of the show or when you first came in. The campaigns actually do love what we do. They want us to do what we do, but we have to be careful. A good friend of mine, I'm not going to mention her name, I, I know that you probably all know her, at the convention tweeted something about a deformed man that David Dewhurst had on his video. Poor choice of words. Poor choice of words. But I know her, and I know that that was just a poor choice of words. She apologized profusely. What did I tell you about who has their eyes on Twitter? The news and our opponents. What did they do to this young lady? They, 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 it, it was pathetic what David Dewhurst, his camp did to her. Okay, it's just purely pathetic. She, she apologized profusely. There's a lesson in that. Next slide, honey. Take care with what you say. Always try to just 
I pretend every day I wake up when I'm doing work for Ted or for whomever, I pretend that Ted sends me a check every day. That way I never forget that I'm speaking on behalf of Ted. I don't want anything I say to haunt that man because I want him in office. I believe in him. So I carry myself as though I was a paid staffer. If you, if you just follow that simple rule, then you'll never put yourself or our candidate in a compromising position because they will hold us accountable. They will hold our candidate accountable for what we say. Yeah. Don't be afraid to tweet. They, I guarantee you the campaigns want you doing this. They want you doing it. Just take tone in your caution or take caution in your tone. Guys, although we do this for the love of our country and with no need for recognition, recognition, some of that may come, some recognition may come. And I, you know, this is not about me, but I want to cite a, an example personally of what my work, my hard work has done. I love me some Rick Santorum. Tell you, okay? The man to me is, I, I'm, I'm still upset that he's not going to be our nominee. Uh, he was a very busy man. <clears throat> a few times he was in town, I got to shake his hand or whatnot. I never could get the opportunity to really have a picture or, or speak to him. Not that that was important, but let's be honest. And it's nice to get to meet the people that you're working so hard for. I, my wife and I both were delegates to the convention, and while he was in town, because of what I have been doing for so long and so hard, I was invited to a private reception with Rick with about 50 other people and got to spend all of the one-on-one -on -one time I could possibly want. I mean, it, to me, it was, it made, it, I don't want to say it made everything I do worthwhile because it, it didn't. I do this because I love my country, just like you guys. But it, but it, it, it was a little icing on the cake. It felt good. In Facebook, you know what I do, by the way? I, I didn't put this on here, but thank you, Virginia. That's, I go through every day, and I look at what's posted, and I start liking stuff. That lets the people know that, that you, or your friends that you appreciate what they're putting out there, and what does it take? It, it takes no effort at all. Um, I just want to say in conclusion, uh, to this fight that we now find ourselves in, we're no strangers to it here in Texas. Our anti-sentence, most probably all of us, our anti-sentence were induced to come to Texas, a land of opportunity by the Mexican government. And they took, and they took an oath to the Constitution of 1824 and became citizens as bona fide as though they had been born on this soil. And they were content to live with, under that constitution and obey the laws of the land until the author of all of our troubles, or their troubles, Santa Anna himself, usurped the constitution. Now, folks, the constitution of 1824 was modeled after our constitution. And when it was usurped by Santa Anna, they met in solemn convention, just like all of us are doing tonight. And they said no more. History tells us what happened from there. Now, I'm not suggesting that we're going to pick up arms, but I am suggesting no more. This man in the White House has got to go, and it's up to us to get it done.